What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in risk global domination. The daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better game for risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Looks like we got a four player. Cool midboard blizzards. Wow. Okay. Oslo blizzard. Wow. I would love to see who's in there. I'm second last, so my options are actually shit. Do we take Trieste and just see how it goes? Yeah, I think we take Trieste and see how it goes. I'm thinking we don't see blue. Yeah, well, don't do that. I don't know, man. My cap top, my cap options are real rough here. <sighs> I guess I take Spain. <laughs> Fuck. Africa. I don't know. These are not good choices. One in Turkey. And so we got white and black in the midboard. We don't know where the purple cap is. Purple is a bot at the open. Blue looks like they're in Russia. That tells me that blue is like up here or here based on this motion. Yeah, blue's up here. So likely blue, black, white. Let's see if we can figure out where green is. What bonus do we think green goes for? Italy or noob corner? Someone's got to be a noob corner, right? Okay, Black's working on Italy. Where's green? Can we see any of green? Noob corner. Predicting noob corner. Okay, purple bot. Where's the capital? <laughs> bot causing chaos. We don't know where the purple cap is. Blue has turn one Russia? Nope. Black has Dinaric Alps. Blue has Russia now. Oops. 
Yeah, Black has the Narc Alps. Yeah, the bottom's all up in my shit. The nice cushy, cushy bot cushion. Yeah, now Black takes. Is that a bot cap? What was that? No, I think it was just a turret. Okay, now Black has this. And he's defending it. Okay. Green has Iceland, but not Great Britain. So green, we don't know exactly where they cap it. We assume it's there. And they're finishing that now. So yeah, these are my guesses. Green, white, we know white, we know black, guessing blue. And then I'm here. We still don't know where the, okay, bot lost their capital. Okay. Someone has the bot's capital. Bot having France is bad if I'm trying to take Spain. All right, we got the dice back a little bit. Okay, white takes Scandinavia. We should be able to leverage Spain into, into Africa here. Everyone kind of sees my cap. Black sees my cap. Blue still doesn't have Russia. Nice thing is no one knows you of Spain, basically. Yeah, well. Okay, black takes Italy. Or is that the purple cap? That's the purple cap in Sardinia. Starting with 14. Hopefully the bot doesn't smack my five. <coughs> Green now has noob corner. Breaks my Spain. All right. Green would like black to win the game. Yeah, Green realizes that. Decides to not weaken me. Bot breaks Italy. Good. Green putting troops in the bonus where my cap is in is fucking dumb. I should put more troops on my capital. Reason I haven't taken Africa? Because I was uh, delayed from taking Spain turn one. So now we get Africa turn four, maybe. And, and this idiot put troops in there which makes it more expensive. Okay. 
Okay, blue now has Russia, and they're spiraling out of the east. No, blue's cap is here. Blue's cap is here. Oh, that's not a good capital. Okay. My word black rolls my cap. Well, he didn't, thankfully. So now I'm going to come across the top, and I think we're going to see that black took the purple cap I'm thinking is here. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to smack all the green shit out of there. Yep. And purple. Yeah, better over there. No, just a stack. Okay. Still doesn't make any sense for green to break me because that just advantages black. Green needs me. So we have an interesting position, right? We have white, or so we have green. We have peat. We have white. We have black. We have blue. Nobody is here, so I have still some expansion options. Unless Black takes it before I get a chance. Dude, Blue is not taking Russia. Weird. Black, it's 18. Goes into Orient. Goes into Africa. Goes into Africa. Okay. So, like, you're going to pincer me, though. You're going to make, make it so I don't have cards. Black gives me no option but to hit him. Yeah, this is an interesting thing people do, right? I, I don't think they realize. Um, okay, maybe he's not going for it. What's he trying to do? Yeah. Like, what do you... Th okay, now where do I get my cards, man? Almost all of my possible cards are on black. Maybe he just wants me to be cool with my plus 10. Let's see. I'm going to wait for the sets before I do anything frisky. Good day, sir. How did you end up with your capital there? No better options. Yeah, my start sucked. My start was rough. Yeah, blue's cap is here. Once my exterior material gets removed, I have to hit black. I guess I could hit green, give him a card. Hey, thank you, Ice Spear. Thank you for the prime, man. Take Orient. So the blue capital is in Orient, I'm pretty sure.
Okay. Green's addressing black. Good. Black's busy. Is anyone in France? No. Um, the white cap is here. Black cap is here. Green cap, I'm guessing, is London. Blue cap, I'm guessing, is here. We don't know where the bot cap is, but it might be in Dinaridis. Is that it? Is that, or is that purple's final position? Take a card. It doesn't take a card because it's locked on the... No, it did take a card. Okay, it took a card in a different spot. Does green's cap need to be in Scandinavia blocking blue from taking Russia? My guess is that green has noob corner based on how many troops he's been getting. With an Oslo blizzard, someone who has London probably takes London. Now blacks can retaliate on green. Okay, black setting here sends a certain kind of message. The message black setting here sends is, I want to hold everything that I earned in the early game, right? This is a, a very typical sort of behavior people make. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he pulls troops off my front because he thinks I'm going to be good with him. <laughs> Does Green stop hitting him? Okay, that is now Purple's final position, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we get it. This will also have the added benefit of breaking black without with him being able to understand why I did it, without it seeming like an aggressive play. Okay, we find the blue cap. Uh oh. Let's fix that. Problem here now is my cap is closed. We do get the kill. We're sitting on five cards. White takes a plus eight. Ooh. <laughs> How's Reggie playing with any more skunks? No. Reggie's been hanging out inside. It's been winter, so. We did confirm the blue capital. We still do not know where the second... Uh, capital. So this had a great, this turn was great. It had the ability of cutting black down to size, hopefully without triggering, triggering his insane aggression. Um, he might still retaliate on me. He might retake a bonus. Um, blue might retaliate on me. It's fine. Right. We got a kill. We're sitting on five cards. We have 70 cap. 70 cap is locked. If blue hits me, I think blue takes Orient finally. 
Well played, Blue. Well played. Just chill there. Have your bonus. Yeah, totally fine. Bl uh, black is now cut down to size in the middle. So black is here. Returns to capital. He would like the plus four as well. Black's greedy. Okay, black is a fundamentally greedy player. He doesn't have the uh, he doesn't have the cards to back this play up. I all, all I get is um, four cards and a plus three out of that. I think we keep hitting black. Let's see if if green is on the team. No, green is not on the team. Problem with my game now is my cap isn't open to the board. Black wants three plus fours and a plus eight. How about this? How do you feel about this? Let's see what he does, actually. Give me Italy. Can I have something? You're only a plus eight. I know you are. Okay. White says gets the 40. Is white in the east? I think the two middle positions gets around. Nobody other than the bot is dead. Let's see how this goes. Poop of the dog. How is the lawn and snow care doing? We're good. We are out of the game, sir. This is what we do now. We we uh we make the dick jokes and we try to make the kills. Does blue hit me? Hope they don't. Uh I I mean I got rid of what I what I care to get rid of. Yeah, blue breaks black on the other side. Good. <laughs> this is the problem with the middle position when you're greedy. Ah, still getting 18, so he does have the plus eight. I like that. So now black breaks blue here. Yeah. Hopefully blue continues that escalating that war. Oh man, this guy will not this guy will not give any ground at all. So here's an example of uh, the situation we discussed with Spud, right? He wants me to fist bump, right? I am lying with this fist bump. I have no intention of letting him hold that. Um, a deal is not made. A contract is not formed. Okay, green doesn't break now. So I'm going to bet that black is now at war with um, blue. Even a five stack is enough to send the message. White gets 24. Yeah, okay. So white is here. Blue is only here. Black is here. Green is here. So green's in trouble. Right, green's in a single position. White just gave them a capital card, I'm thinking. Black being in the middle of this board breaks me instead? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You break black. Ooh, open my cap. Open my cap to kill uh kill blue. I mean, is the move to stay out of the trouble or is the move to try and make some kills? I think I, I can't make kills on this board because my cap is locked. So I think my move is to cause some trouble.
There we go. Blue. You're welcome. <laughs> Hit somebody and not me. <laughs> My hope here still is that somebody retaliates into my capital and opens the line. Go all the way. Open it all the way. All the way. All the way. White didn't understand why I did that. <laughs> White didn't understand that I opened Blue's capital with that play. Does Blue set? No. Blue's going to sit on five cards. Damn it. I was open. Okay, they do set. All right. Punchy, punchy time? Or Blue's just trying to stay from getting card blocked. Don't lock off your cap again. Keep going. Yes. Keep going. Yes. 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 Love this. This is good. Yes. Now Blue's taking a look. Cool. Why would you do that? Why would you punish me for helping you? He's opening my capital, I see. What, so I can kill you? <laughs> That's not very smart. All right, black trades. It's getting popped. Okay, nice. Black also opens my capital. Thank you, Black. Yes. Yes. Good. My cap's open in two ways now. Uh-huh. Cool. I would like to guard a plus four with a 17 stack when I should be making kills. Green taking Spain is hilarious. I agree. All right. Well, white sense gets the 70. So my next card is this. Unless green backs off. Um, which closes my line into this but I still get that way. I wonder if I can get a kill on either black or blue. And if, and if when I do it, it'll be worth it. Okay, black hitting 25 again. Let's see what green does with that stack.
I'm not expecting to hold any of this. If I hold any of this, it's gravy. White is loving it, though. Oh, no set. Blue breaking me was super dumb because he's the easiest to card block. Man, this guy will not stop taking Italy. I think I want black to lose more than I want blue to lose. Since when did Spain become yours? You asshole. All right, we're on five cards again. Can you explain what you did, please. What do you mean? <laughs> taste it. Yes, they tasted it. <laughs> they tasted it. <laughs> what I did when. <coughs> so right now, I, me, blue, and black are all about the same size. Um, white is winning this game. White is the only one who stayed out of trouble completely. Nobody's killable. My cap, really shitty. So I need to encourage my opponents to hit each other. Black is overly aggressive and they're trying to take too much board and they're not letting me have anything. So I'm just going to prioritize fucking up their shit. Blue is more passive than black. Green is being a dick. Um, yeah, black's just going to break me again. So we probably go to attrition now, me and black. Like, he sees that I have the cards. Can we card block black? Does my card block get popped? Because I don't really have the best relationship with blue either. No, I think I take all of my shit back and chill. Let's see how much of this holds. Don't break anybody. Now who goes now who goes bad to me? Let's figure this out. Let's figure out who I can actually work with here. I mean, black's a better player than blue, but he's overly aggressive. Watch green set and break. If green sets and breaks, I can pivot, right? Yeah, that's cool. So blue doesn't go, uh, blue doesn't go aggressive. Black does, right? Black does. Oh, why would I let you have anything then? Yeah, so it's attrition with black.
All right, we found the guy we need to go to attrition with. Hmm, no sound for again. Shit. Mm. Since when did everybody hate Pete? I don't know, since they realized I was good? <laughs> White gives me infinite capital cards. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay, so now this game stalemates. And I'll get to make hours of television for you guys.
<clears throat> okay. I think now we're in a spot where it makes sense <coughs> to chill and do a Q&A question. All right, our next Q&A question is from Freddie. Hello, Freddie. Uh, what are the benefits and losses of being in each position at risk? I can see the first position obviously gets to move first, but then ultimately puts themselves at risk to the other five players. Wondering if there's a preferred position when it comes down to essentially doesn't matter. If you're in manual placement, first position is preferred. Um, if you're playing progressive, you want to be in one of the middle positions um, in terms of the trades so that you don't get killed by players that are earlier than you. Um, if you are playing unstable portals, you want to be at the end of the sequence. So you get to be last to act to create additional positions. What are the ways to turn order matters? If you're first to act, you're generally considered to be advantaged because you get the, uh, the ability to, um, like having initiative is good, basically. Being first, being first to act lets you claim stuff, right? Let's you say, I want this. Oh yeah, this is gonna yeah, this is gonna be a two hour cellmate for sure. And there's a, this is a five player cellmate. Everyone is alive. With my cap, I wasn't really able to make kills, right? And Black spent all of his early trades not killing people, but um, trying to hold board. So blacks or uh, greens can trade with me here. Victor says this is a prime example of fuck this Sue and move on. No, no, no. I'm gonna win this game, but it's gonna take a long time. Hey, how you doing, Boosted? How does this game even end? Be the first one who has to leave? Um, card blocking. Teaming. Bots will happen. Suicides will happen. People will give up. People might disconnect. People might get card blocked. This is all the ways it ends. You must teach me patience. Hey, man, I'm making TV. You guys want to hang? We can hang. Something will happen eventually. And I will play to win. I suppose I should look at who's getting what. White's getting 26. And the set is 145. I'm going to post my KPO round seven now. Pete's biggest advantage is he's getting paid for this game and the other people are not. I'm just 
chilling. I am just chilling, guys. I got nowhere to be. What should I say about my round seven game? Good luck to all our participants. It has been an honor to host the largest tournament in risk history. Um, prizes if you would like to donate to the community fund for prizing the link is here yeah I mean I got nothing else to say really just say thank you hey how you doing face McShooty thank you so much man will I try to block blue no I have no incentive I'm the weakest player I have no incentive to action um, I will let these guys block and kill each other and if attempted to be blocked I will try and parry that's my only sort of strat for this game. Don't be card blocked. Let them. These guys have done their best to keep me contained. So now it's on them to advance the game. Right? If they wanted to let me be strong, then I would feel a lot more interested in trying to um, progress the action. But because I'm the weakest player, I'm sure shit not going to stick my neck out for any of these fucks. <laughs> Should I say thank you for the zombie mode that made me lose? Yeah, you know, it didn't make me lose, right? I got unlucky, maybe. Or I fucked up. Who knows? Possible I fucked up. It's possible, folks, that I do not deserve to be in the top 96. Is today the 22nd? <laughs> Throwing a couple of yawn emotes. Wait, spice it up. <laughs> I don't have emotes on this account. Facebook shooting. Thanks for all the awesome content you produce. Been watching your YouTube videos for a while now. Glad to catch you on an EU friendly stream. Welcome in face. Thank you. Yeah, man. Glad you enjoy the show. Okay, green is hitting somebody. Not me. What game mode do you prefer? I've always been a prog world arm guy. Still am in my heart of hearts, but uh Ethical question? Yeah, shoot, man. Let's talk ethics. It's on your mind, lineage. All right. A billionaire murders a woman. You are a police chief and discover that he is the culprit. He approaches you privately and says, if you cover it up, he'll donate $10 million to the department. At the time, you do not know the outcome of the money, but you but know that it will go towards... More personnel and equipment that could potentially help solve and prevent many crimes. What do you do? You do not take the bribe. Why? Um, the This is an interesting question because it, it speaks to institutional inertia and institutions having a vested interest in their own existence. So 
The goal of the police is to solve and prevent crime. In the act of not solving and preventing a crime, the argument is being made that you could solve and prevent far more crime. This is defeating the purpose of your existence. It's going to give me some more cards. He's going to back off, right? Ah, see, Green wants me to live forever, too. <laughs> yeah, the the whole point of an institution is to achieve its desired aim. At some point, an institution becomes large and complex enough to um, require a justification for its own existence, which I think is kind of ironic, um, because it presupposes that the institution itself is of intrinsic value outside of its function, which its function is, in this case, to prevent crime. Um, cops don't progress, prevent crime and the enforce the laws just to make sure you face judgment yeah well we're not we're not interested in the uh in 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 being super autistic and picking apart the um the way the question could be better worded what we are interested in doing is um focusing on um the ethical principle that the question is trying to evoke and the ethical principle that the question is trying to evoke is um this one of do the ends justify the means? And then if the ends justify the means, are we looking at this in a utilitarian sense, right? Will more good be prevented by, um, will more good be prevented or mitigated by taking the bribe? It doesn't matter, right? Because in the act of taking the bribe, you are, um, fundamentally going against the essence of the existence of the institution in the first place. That was a great question. And we see a lot of this in our world now, right? We see institutions like uh, charities is, is another one, right? Charities that seem to have a vested interest, interest in um, perpetuating themselves. And there's a tremendous amount of bloat and waste. What's shaking risky bitches? Oh, baby. <laughs> love that i would block blue. okay potato goulash i would block blue with like a 30 to 40 just to force him to attack someone else and start a war the thing is i'm one of the have nots in this game so i'm not going to risk any more troops i've done that i've tried i tried to risk troops the board kept shuffling right now my job is to let these guys hit each other the only thing i want to do is outlast not get card blocked and when i eventually get attempted to be card blocked i will parry there we go. Green's a, green's a hitter. Green likes hitting shit. So green is going to be the one who loses patience first, I betcha. I think people miss essence a lot. Like, what is the essence? What is the raison d'etre? What is the, the why behind what you do? Can you tell me who the rest of the caps are? Yes, absolutely. Um, the caps are... Uh, this is green. This is white. This is black. This is blue. And we actually don't know where purples is. Yeah, that's true. We don't know where purples is. I'm guessing it's up in Scandi. What haven't I seen? I haven't seen the very top of the map or Iceland. So maybe green has it. That's true. I actually don't know where the final cap is. I've never seen it. How is the awesomeness of Pete doing today? Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. I am, what, three hours into the stream? Three and a half. So we started for an, a random settings tournament game that we did win. Um, then we played a fixed zombies game that we did win. And now we're in a long five player. You're advanced, progressive capital stalemate. Could go quite a while. 
T Dog says, if you don't take the bribe, the judge would. Yeah. Our organizations are corrupt. There's no doubt. Right? I'm saying like one corruption does not lessen another. We corruption is additive. So fixing attempting to fix one corruption with another will just lead down to a slippery slope fallacy, I think. Follow up to the previous question. I know Arkin's going to be trolling me. Uh, a billionaire kills a woman, but offers you that if you admit to the crime and go to jail, he will give you all his money to solve world hunger. Would you accept it? <laughs> I would kill another woman. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Vogestark says you are not responsible for someone else's ethical behavior. Sets are now 200. Pete, best way to play, play the board, play the player, play the player. Best way to play. Every piece of information, Gando agrees, every piece of information a player gives you, you incorporate. Playing the board is simple, right? It's, it's simple once you learn how to do it. Playing a player never ends, right? There's always something new to learn. This fucking cab is hilarious. I get one, two, three, four, five, six fucking cards. <laughs> I have I have a really good long term cap here. And two of them are taken. This is an eight card cap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I love my cap right now. It wasn't able to stop the stalemate, but it is very hard to block, yeah. Leech did the math. Okay, thank you. Green having Iceland, Britain, Spain, and one cap plus a bit of Exeter adds to 16. So we think purple's cap is in Scandia, Russia. Yeah. That was what that was what my gut told me as well. Yeah, and I think Green is uh Green is gonna be the guy who gives up. So Green's gonna get lowest in this game, right? We see him hitting a lot. We see him hitting too much. He's spending a lot of troops. Can you point out the possible opportunities for the game to end when other players aren't smart enough to card block in this scenario? Or is it just until people bought or suicide? In this scenario, with five players still alive, we got to wait. There's no correct play from my seat other than the only principle I'm abiding right now is don't get card blocked. There's no way I can advance the game state that doesn't put me at tremendous risk. These set, folks, it's important for you guys to remember these settings are broken, right? These settings stalemate. If if six risk AIs were designed properly and played against each other, these settings would play forever. There's no incentive to end them. You can't communicate telepathically with people. It's not a thing. How would these settings be fixed? Um, you would... You would scale progressive cards. So instead of the sets increasing by five troops, um, they increase relative in relative proportion to the amount of um, troops the players have. So kills are always profitable or semi-profitable, 
right? This would fix prog world arm stalemates. This would fix prog cap stale stalemates. You could also put a troop limit on the cap so that lo long term caps games turn into 70% style games. They were hitting blue, 1300 stack, and blue dies. Who are we hitting as black? Is it green? <laughs> Commerce says, I prefer prog caps without fog and with alliances on, providing people with vision and communication. Makes the game more alive. <coughs> uh, can I have the play? This is just, I just put the midnight on shuffle. I'm just listening to the midnight right now. I got midnight tickets. That's very fucking exciting. I'm going to see these guys with Chromio in October. My trade early in the situation that stalled. Um, I don't want to be sitting on five cards. I'm, I'm still kind of weak. It doesn't really matter, right? I cost myself five troops. It's, who gives a fuck? I am just staying out of trouble. My only job right now, you see how everyone's hating everyone else? My only job right now is to do nothing. Right? Let's wait for a couple of these guys to die. We need to take a look at the board. What after a couple of guys have died? Have I listened to Chromio's new album? Let's do it. Let's listen to some Chromio, guys. What do you think? What's it called? Is there, we know the name of the album. <sighs> Adult contemporary. Oh shit. Play your turn, Pete. All right, we're going in. Look at these sexy mofos. You know what I'm saying? Nice hat. Ooh, yes. 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 I like it. Ooh. Why are you intentionally blocking your sack from going through Spain? Huge gas can cap. Nope. I'm choosing a direction. My trading direction is this way. I tried to take Spain. Green took it back. I'm not interested in going in these other two directions. I've chosen my direction. It, it has to do with the geometry of the caps, right? Green's a cocksucker, so I want to fucking pressure him. Are you a fan of electro swing? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm a fan of melody. I like most music that has good melody. Ooh. Great call, Boosted. This is fucking what we want to be listening to, man. Aren't all green players cocksuckers? <laughs> I say it in the nicest way possible. The name of the song is Personal Effects. It's the... Oh, it started on the second track? That's weird. 
Why didn't it start on the first try? What personal stereotype would you give to each color? Ooh, that's fun. Um, all right, what are the colors? We got black. No, we start with white. White's my favorite color, I think, competitively. White is the most neutral. It doesn't say anything. And it blends in with blizzards. Um, black players, I think, are a bit mean. I never play as black. I find black players a bit mean, generally. Um, green players are fickle. Green players um, are a really good friend one minute and your worst enemy the next. Um, red players are aggressive, and they are unapologetically aggressive. Red players will look you in the eye and say, I'm going to hit your shit. Um, yellow players are sneaky. They're smiling in your face and stabbing you in the back. Um, purple players are similarly sneaky. Um, but less subtle. Orange players are kind of pushovers, right? They'll get aggressive in your face and then they'll be like, oh no, uh, don't kill me. What else did we miss? Do we get all the do we get all the colors? Kyle says I'm black and I'm mean. Yeah. I think black's me is a mean color. Did we get them all? Did I miss anything? Purple. Pink. Ah, pink. Uh pink. Pink is the girl's color. So we often see, and this is not a rule. Don't please don't take my stereotypes for anything other than uh the pattern I'm recognizing, is we often see girls play as pink. So you can use that as a misdirection. You can say and try and uh, try and bluff weakness, right? Again, um, not saying that girls are weak, saying that the stereotype of girls being weak is something that you can use to subvert. I have played as uh, Magenta, and I've tried to play into that, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Gano says, why do you think I play with pink? Right, right. Um, blue, blue is calming. Blue is the color that... that I think most likely says, I'm just here to chill. Um, and there's a lot, there's a big reason why when I play classic fixed, I like to play as blue. Um, Ajax says, I get suicide a lot less when I play with a female avatar and pink or purple compared to black. <laughs> right. And like, we're not talking about how the world should be. Right. I'm saying we are, we are detecting a pattern and it, probably is meaningful but also anecdotal so take your own fucking sample do your own evidence figure it out for yourself guys kyle says risk is racist against black people you mean black players right kyle you mean black players right dude this album fucking slaps Dude, everyone's still alive. Leash predicted me. Something, something Spanish flag, lol. <laughs> everyone's too fucking sensitive, man. Who says greenies are meanies, Chad? Is that a Leonaism? Shall we publicly shame Leona? World's way too sensitive. Well, it's not good. Not good for you. All right, who's where now? 
Green's getting 15. Black's getting three. Black is so aggressive. Are they going to actually do anything with their extra troops, though? Hit it with the brown dookie slapper if I could be brown. <laughs> Do, uh, there was a brief, brief moment where we could play as brown. And I hated brown. Brown was the ugliest color. I miss playing as turquoise, man. I am an adult man with a favorite color, and I love turquoise, and I would play as turquoise 100% if I could. Fifteen hundred troops. What is going on in this game? I'm just. Chill. I think we've reached a take a card pass stalemate, folks. You can play as turquoise if you want to put uh, colorblind mode on. Uh, sure, but then doesn't that fuck up all the other colors too? What's going on, Thamsy? Hey, Pete, hope you're doing great today. I just had a crazy fun game on Caps. I had the best card block three player end game with my purple opponent. Sadly, the card block player sued into me, which lost me the game in the end. Lost to a GM, so not so sad about it. Unfortunately, your card block did not work, sir. Blues going poppy, poppy time. Yeah. Poppy, poppy time. Poppy, poppy time. I can't wait to see who gets fifth this game. <laughs> All right, Chad would like to know, does tournament success add to whether you consider a player great? Yes. How do you factor tournament success into your uh, player rankings? Well, we don't actually have another... The, the issue is we don't actually have another good measure. So if not tournament success, then what, right? Nothing objective, right? Everything else is more subjective. Now I can watch a player and I can say, all right, that guy's good or that guy's great or that guy's, wow, what the fuck is he doing? But in the absence of something measurable... It's all subjective. Um, so starting with the tournament ranking, starting with something like the Sabre system is a really good tool we have because we simply lack any other way to measure, right? The ranking system is fucking shit. I mean, Grandmaster means something, but the distance between a novice and a Grandmaster is about as wide as the distance between a Grandmaster and a top player. Um, oh, thank you so much, Zolo C, with the sub there. Cheers. I feel like Black's getting away with murder because he's just so aggressive. Poppy, poppy time. Leona says, I love watching Pete merge that orange cap into another cap and make it go pop. Are we playing fruit now? <laughs> you guys are just bored. You guys don't want me to win this game. You guys want me to throw this game. Is that what chat wants? Is that what chat wants, folks? <laughs> Chaz is fair assessment. Thank you for the thought. Hey, we try, Chad. We try. Just joking. Win it. Oh, baby. I'll try. I will try to win this game. If I lose, I lose, right? Let's see. Let's see how long this one goes for. We are one hour and 15 minutes on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. <sighs> 
chat just wants tummy smacks for the win. Extra tummy smacks. Did I miss Puba's question? Puba says, what do you think about if there was a realistic game mode where all the players attack at the same time per turn? There is in um, Warlight, Warzone. That exists. I think it requires some amount of deception, right? Oh, shit. We got a thousand biddies from crew. Thank you, crew. Crew says, thank you for the content. I had, to, oh, I had to put my dog down today. I'm really getting out of my head and enjoying myself watching you. I hate that, man. I'm sorry. Sorry for your loss. Dogs are dogs and cats, like big parts, big parts of our family. It's hard. Sending good vibes to you, sir. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks. All right, you guys want to do a little little exercise? All right. Move with me, folks. Oh. <sighs> uh. Okay. Are you wearing Uggs? No, I'm wearing Alpine booties from Mountain Equipment Co op. I knew these guys would hit each other. <sighs> oh. 
All right, we got a green 300 sack punching. All right, I'm curious. Let's see what this board looks like. All right, so we found the final capital. Ah, we don't get to see blacks, though. Okay, confirmed. Final capital is in North Russia. We're really behind in troop county? Sure. But we're not hitting anybody, so... They're all... 100% of our troops are on capital. Oh, Jerry! Hi, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the final appearances of Yerd Boyberman Meepa Boy. Hello. Missed you. The stream missed you. He's a good kitty. He's not a snuggler. I had two cats. It's definitely not as bad as putting one down, but uh, losing Jerry, it's kind of rough. How long is this game been going on? This game's been going on for an hour and a half. <laughs> Do I get visitation? Yes, I have visitation. This is currently what we're doing right now. We're visiting with the Meepo Man.
Who do I think has the hardest job in the world? It could be an occupation like one specific person. So I watched a documentary once and there was an Indian fellow who his job was he worked in um a in the jewelry district in a, in an Indian city. Um and for those of you guys who don't know, uh Indian people are known, I think, uh per capita as the highest consumers of gold in the world. For jewelry, um, I'm pretty sure. Don't don't quote me on that. Um, so what this gentleman did for a living was he in the in the goldsmiths. What would happen in this city? The goldsmiths would would um, refine gold, mill gold, and they would um, tiny flecks of gold shavings would fall into the sewers, and it would rain, and it would run. All of these like tiny bits of gold would. Um, go into, you know, the, the gutters and eventually into the sewers in this piece of the city. So this man's job and they, they film it is to slip himself down a, um, a sewer. He opens up a sewer grate and he goes down straight down into it. Um, and this is literal human shit, right? This is a, a tunnel about as wide as he can fit into full of human shit. And he is panning for gold with his sieve for the tiniest gold flakes, Right, we are panning for gold, but not in a river, right? Not in, not as a prospector. We are panning for gold in a sewer full of human shit. Um, but wait, there's more. Hi, YouTube. Uh, exactly. But wait, there's more. So the structure of this man's employment was also kind of indentured servitude. He stayed in a house owned by his employer. And he was paid in something akin to company scrip, such that he could only spend his income at that establishment, right? So his entire livelihood was based on the whims and the wills of the guy who was paying his salary. So imagine for a moment a, a life of a person who is whose job is to pan for gold through literal human shit, and then to have that life be what is effective slavery. They're digging from mud in the bottom of the sewer. I think I see this documentary. So that, I don't know if that is the worst job in the world or the hardest job in the world, but that was the one that came to mind when I was asked the question. <laughs> Poor guy. Conrad says, I saw a video about two guys climbing a 600 foot ladder tower, uh, radio tower to change the light bulb at the top. I do not have fear of heights, but heck no, I wouldn't do that job. Okay. The blue stack is moving. The blue stack is moving around the map. Dude, I cannot wait to see who gets lowest here. We're all waiting. We're all waiting an hour and a half to figure out who gets lowest. Leona says, Kilted has the hardest job in the world. Trying to pick settings to screw as many of us over as possible. I cannot believe that anyone, Leona, that anyone would not thank Kyle profusely for his incredible hard work putting together the settings for the Kilpeed Open. Least of all, you. I'm sure that comment was meant sarcastically. I'm surprised nobody else is trying to uh, car block anybody at this point. It'll be Wednesday ASMR channel coming. I don't know. Why don't you ask me again? <laughs> What's up, Astherion? How to avoid stalling or at least improving the stall in this game? This is not stalling. This is a stalemate. I tried to improve it. 
I tried to get advantage. I almost had a kill on blue. I almost had a kill on black, but they didn't allow that to occur. So here we are. We wait forever. Now it is on them to progress the game state because they have more troops than me. Stalling has specific rules meaning, right, in this game. Stalling is cheating. So we don't want to call it stalling when it's stalemate. Phil says a react channel we find at the crazy stuff only or Phil philosophical. I like that. I like your Phil philosophy, Phil. Is it true that you can do all the push-ups when it comes to quantity? I do 10 push-ups. That is the redeem. When is it turn to JJ stream? I don't know, man. I'm definitely not playing... Uh, ooh, 35 for black! I'm definitely not playing... Uh, Expert Plus or anything. <coughs> Feels like these players wouldn't know how to progress. It's just a game of patience. Just run the 70? All right, I'll run the 70. That's a 3,000 cap, baby. Whoppa. Let's go. I think I should make a bagel. I'm starting to get hungry. It only says prog ends at 2545 five, five, and then it becomes fixed. <laughs> Sets are at 400, so. What's that? We're 20%, we're just under 20% of the way? Lameek, hey Pete, hope you have a nice day, thank you. I'm sorry, but I need to leave your stream since I'm part of the Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals Boycott. Oh no. Hope you have the patience to destroy them. I will try. I will try. How do you get a Romania card in Spain? What do you mean, Spain? The cards you get are not related to the territories you take. There is a deck of cards and there's one card that corresponds to each territory in the map, plus two jokers. And you draw from a random deck of cards. Um, and when you trade cards in, they are shuffled back into this, this fictitious deck. Yeah, that's how the cards and risk work. There's one card for each territory on the board, including the blizzards, plus two jokers. Black didn't realize he's in Fortify. Pete, you have a lot of troops. Indeed, I do. What should we do with them? 
just joined the stream. How long has it been going? It's been going an hour and 37 minutes. Does everyone draw from the same deck? Yes. If you play Simple World, um, you with six players, you can run out of cards. And the, the game has a message that says, you do not take a card because there are none in the deck. Have I ever played any of the Civ games? No, the only Civ game I played was Alpha Centauri. Which I guess technically is still a Civ game. A long time ago, though. Talking about Child Pete. You're a progressive capitals. The best game out except for when the stalemates happen like this. Hey, man. I got lots of time, so I'm, I'm still down to try and win. Until I feel like doing something else with my day. Blue's hitting again. Blue's hitting a lot. Let's go, Blue Fist. <sighs> what was the single longest risk game? Like eight and a half hours or something? No, I'm not trying to go for that long. I might quit at some point. But, you know. Other people could make a move. They could not make a move. We just don't know, folks. We just don't know. I feel like blue and black are hitting each other, though. That's pretty good. Maybe in a half an hour, I try and take that Spain bonus and see if green lets me. Calmer says, I think I should stop caring about my rank so much and quit when the game gets boring. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, the rank thing is, like, what do I have to prove? I'm sure you know you have a fairly good sense of how good you are, but the, the ranking system being what it is, is it an objective measure of how good you are, right? Man, who is blue hitting? All right, we got a question from Fluffernotter. Hey, Pete, thoughts on the idea that society that separates its scholars from its warriors will have its thinking done by cowards and its fighting done by fools and how it may or may not pertain to this game. <laughs> uh, is that like a stoic quote? Where's the, uh, I want to know the attribution of the quote. Oh, we got pictures of Jerry Ryan still in my Google queue. Very nice. Uh, society that separates Thucydides. The society that separates its scholars from its warriors will have its thinking done by cowards and its fighting done by fools. The wisdom of when to fight and when not to. Um, and how. So I don't think any of these players are fools. I think there's a variability in skill in this lobby. Um, I, c I think the baseline is quite high. Okay, it looks like green is helping black card block blue. That's my read. Yeah, okay, no, he didn't help him card block blue. All right, we take Spain. Black is pissed because... <laughs> oh, green broke Black's card block on blue. Oh, I love that they tell us with the emotes. So good. I don't think any of these players are fools, uh, Fluffer. I think these players are quite good as, as, a, as a floor. I think this is a high skill lobby.
<sighs> do you get many stream snipers? Oh yeah. Yes, I do. No real way to stop it, right? Your cap is probably the best on the board for your strategy right now. Well, this is why I'm playing my seat. They didn't let me, uh, they didn't let me expand and make kills. Now you deal with this guy. This guy is a uh, different kind of Pete. Patient, patient, patient. Gus. Yes. I did have a tournament game today. I played random settings tournament in the morning. Green does not let me hold a plus four. I'm insulted. I wanted that plus four, man. You explain why it's better to only capture one territory on your turn if it is indeed better. Okay, so we are in a five player stalemate. The correct thing to do in a heads up situation, a three player situation, is to card block, right? Even in a four player situation, you want to figure out who's going to work with you. Who can you work with to card block someone else? And then they stop taking cards. And then they, the most important thing to, to focus on with progressive capitals is the cards. So each card is worth a third of 430. Okay. Each card is worth 120 something troops. Okay. So the inability to take cards will drain a player far faster than them not having bonuses. Bonuses no longer really matter. And the fact that there are five opponents mean that there are a lot of different interests going on. So my best interest is to keep all my troops on a capital, which is a, well, at least supposed to be a very strong defensive structure. And my capital, you see, connects to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight territories before I run out of capital cards. I've taken two of them. So I have six remaining cards, which is more than a full set, even if I set on three. The chances of me being card blocked are incredibly low with this capital unless I suddenly take all my cap cards. So you see how I'm taking cards on this line. So I've closed off my capital from two of my eight options. And I just continue to take cards into this line until I run out of cards, which would be one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like this, nine, depending on how far they go. There's a cap here, so I'm not going to be taking that card. There's a cap here, I'm not going to be taking that card. Um, so that is the strategy for my position. Now, if any of these players wanted to work with me, if an opportunity presented itself for me to card block someone, I definitely would. However, the opportunity has not seemed to present itself. So my best line of play, my highest odds play to win is to stay out of trouble. Also, ladies and gentlemen, let me just uh, remind you that the game defaults to force trading the Joker, which you shouldn't do because, say it with me, folks, that would be dumb. Don't do that. Fix your game. Fix your game. <laughs> he did the thing! <laughs> Chat knows what I'm talking about. What's up, testicle grab? How are ya? Force trade that joker! It default. Oh, we know why. It defaults to trading the... We have, we have Leon and Hokaris telling us why the game is broken. We know why. It defaults to trading a 10 set in fixed, even though the game is progressive. I think it's boring after an hour. I agree with you, Seabear. I agree with you. 100% agreement, sir. This is boring. Why am I still doing it with my... What am I doing with my life? Just hanging out with my friends, talking some shit. Lotovev says, I've missed my favorite part, which is the beginning. Well, I want to say, what is up? Risk takers. I didn't do it. Say the thing. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. 
are the set types the same value in progressive? What do you mean? So fixed cards, you have <coughs> you have three infantry is worth four. Three cavalry is worth six. Three artillery is worth eight and one of a kind. Or sorry, one of each is worth ten. The Joker can can act as any card. Progressive, all it cares about is if you have a set. Someone lost his capital? Who? Who lost their capital? How do you know? You're talking about the purple? Someone has two because purple purple is dead? Moon five three th Moon five three five loop. Do you know something I don't? We're talking about the purple player's cap. So I'm now thinking that um, the way I'm guessing this board actually went is this was Blue's capital and they lost it, and this was Purple's capital that Blue took. That's my guess. We'll never know. I just saw I'm in your game, so bye. All right. <laughs> GG, man. <laughs> Thank you for leaving. Which one do we think is Sea Bear? What's up, Lasers94? Thank you for the sub. Do we think he's in the game? Am I getting sniped right now? Oh, shit. <laughs> See, he's in the stream cyber exactly. He's, he comes into chat to complain about the game being boring. I was like, yep, sure is. <laughs> That's very funny. First time chat saying the game is boring and then saying I'm in your game. I know. How fucking great is that? How fucking great is that, man? Dude, I'll work with you. <laughs> Which one are you? <laughs> People are like I give a shit about my fucking risk rank. <laughs> Lol. <sighs> All right, we got a four thousand cap. No, no, we don't need to ban, guys. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm turning over a new leaf for the stream sniping. We are accepting the stream sniping for what it is, right? It's not It's not malicious, necessarily. Can we make Gando VIP? We should fucking make Gando VIP. Oh, shit! Llamas, and Llamas is paying for it. Absolutely. Gandolius... 69. I was going to do it for free. You're not getting your points back, Llamas. <laughs> That's a lot of channel points. Yeah, fake Llamas watches a lot. I left because the class was starting, and now I'm out of my college class. I come back to a 4,000 cap. <laughs> yes, yeah, time to freely stream site. Pete, be prepared for easy dubs. Here's the thing. Please don't. <laughs> because Not because I care about my rank points. Right, but I don't want an antagonistic relationship with any of the audience. I want to make a good show for you guys, right? I want to make a fun, dynamic, skillful, interesting show. I don't want to fight with anyone in chat. I don't want the vibes to be bad, okay? I love all of you guys. Thank you for watching, man. And if we make the show shitty for everybody, then everybody loses. I lose. You guys lose, right? So that's why you shouldn't do it. Shouldn't do it to do me a fucking favor. Shouldn't do it because you give a shit about me. Shouldn't do it because you care about my rank points or some shit. I don't give a shit. I just want to have fun with you guys. Are we having fun now? We are having fun now. I'm listening. I'm listening to Chromio. I'm talking some schmick. I lose in four turns either way. <laughs> Lol. Leona says, I watch almost every Pete stream in my time zone for a year, and I only have 69. I, maybe Llamas is, is making savvy bets with his channel points. Who knows? Llamas has also been like, 
watching the show for what two full years three almost three years rage you got me in a state of rage ah uh, calm calm down Mod bet's kind of sus, indeed. Lama says, I take everyone's point redeems and refund them to myself. <laughs> what if someone redeemed 500k points and then have the ability to tell P to attack a specific... I would never do that, Centauri. Because, like, I don't want you guys to have control over my game. Why would that be fun for me? Hey, Pete, suicide into that capital. <laughs> oh, he did the thing. It's just, like, Why? What's in it for me, man? Yeah, true. <laughs> there you go. Pack says, I think a lot of stream snipers just want to play with top players. That's what I think it is too, right? I think it's the... Uh, C CG Plays was talking about this. He's like, it's not necessarily malicious, or at least it doesn't start out malicious. Unless you make it malicious, right? Unless you want to start a fight. It's like, well, listen, I can ask you nicely not to do it, but I'm, there's no way I can stop you from doing it. So if you're going to do it, then do it. Just don't tell me about it because it is still cheating and I don't want to get banned, right? This is my livelihood. I don't want to get banned. That's the irony, right? Is fucking people stream sniping, you get you banned, which is just like, oh my God, talk about a bad system. <laughs> I am uh, going out with a bang. All right, bro. <laughs> GG, brother. I got a feeling uh, Black just got sued. Do we go take a look? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get it. All right, so this is no longer a real game, folks. Did Reggie change the screen? Yes, it was Reginald. Pax says, I think a lot of the problems that the big streamers has do not time to do play with friends with everyone. Yeah, there's no way. Ah, we got to force trade the Joker anyways. That's a bummer. Ha! 
Nice. Fake out. It was a fake out. It was a fake out. Oh! Where's the Reggie Cam? He's not there right now. Yes, White, give me cards. Yes. Smack it. Smack blue. No. <laughs> And smack, Papa? No. Are there any arguments for having a 12 player lobby? I would love a 12 player lobby. Now, white troops make sense. Got it for Black to have downgraded Cab Sword, yeah. Well, maybe he sues out. Maybe, maybe it actually is the, the, the guy who said. Or maybe it was just a fake out. Dude, I can't wait to see who gets fucking lower. When you start attacking, you have to stay with the same color. What do you mean? If you're trying to kill someone. I was trying to kill Black, but uh, Black still has most of his troops. What are the chances these players are watching Netflix? Hi. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it was a good trick, though. I liked the trick. It was a good trick. <coughs> what flag is blue flying? The Oland Islands. Definitely uh, watch Love is Blind if Pete was in it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have learned that Love is not blind. Is Kyle in round seven? Nice. And let's see if he spawns with fucking eight zombie or uh, ten zombie troops in the same spot. <laughs> no, sorry. It was my troops next to the zombies that got fucking rocked. What's up, Jay Legend? Hey, Pete, thanks for the personal advice that I would deal with automated bots. It helped me a lot more than I expected to in the beginning. Generally, thank you for all your tips. I had been rank one and continuously under the top 20 to a 10 last season. Even though I just started playing a few months ago, you really teach people how to play in your show. Thank you for making the show. I had a great time watching and playing. Wish you the best of luck. Do you too, man? What, uh, what's your risk name? Congrats on, uh, on rank number one. That's sick. Jockla. Nice, man. Where are you at right now? Are you grinding again? Yeah, he's at, he's at the top, baby. Jockla. Let's go. 
32 32 K skill points at the top after what? Two days? <coughs> GG, man. Fuck yeah. Who we hitting? Who we hitting, Blue? I feel like we listened to this one already. Hey, Super Tuscan. What it do, turkey tits? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, my day is well. How are you? All right, it's, I think it's time for grub, folks. Oh, White's doing some shit. White is doing some real shit. Pooba the dog would like to know, Pete, what's your opinion on the current dating market, especially for young men? Young men are dropping out of the dating market and job market at a fast rate. Any solutions? Um, you have to look at those solutions. I mean, it is a systemic problem from a perspective, but you have to look at solutions to them on an individual basis, right? Like what, uh, if it's a market, if we're going to use the term as a market, let's assume that you are an, a rational actor in this equation. Okay, what is Blank doing? Kind of want to pay attention to this game right now. We saw some change occur. <laughs> Pull for fifth place. <laughs> yeah, like if we if we want to use the term market, um, you know, what are you selling and what are you buying? Um, I think the situation for young men is is dire in the sense that, um, the the greater systems are decoupling our um our actual market utility right our economic viability from our physical ability to output and do work 
Um, and this is a trend that's happening in the service sector. This is a trend that's happening in manufacturing. It's a trend that's happening in construction, right? And in all, all fields, as we automate and as we improve our technology, um, we find this trend. Um, ah, poor Black. I think Black's the one who gets last. So if you think about what a prospect prospective romantic partner wants, right? If you try to empathize with one of the things that will make you a good partner for anyone is empathizing with the other person. So empathy is a very key skill here. How do I give my partner the experience that they want out of their life? How do I show up as the best version of myself? Um, okay. Green is smacking white. Smackerino time. Smackerino. Smackerino time. Smackerino. Yeah, I mean, we could talk about that question in more specifics, but like it was too broad. Okay, so this doesn't take a cat card. It also doesn't close any of my three lines. I still have all three lines open now, which is great. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, right? All three lines into the rest of the board are open. This is a great situation to be in. I could close one, take a walk around again. Okay, black is fist bumping white. I think black is the worst position though. Leech Little says, to show up as the best version of myself for my wife, I should probably play slash watch less risk. Well, that one that one circles all the way back around to is if you end up getting paid enough from your projects on YouTube and Twitch um, and you can make a living doing it, then your wife will be very impressed at your ability to play video games or she'll leave you and uh, someone else will instead. <laughs> I don't know my, uh, don't, don't take what happened to me as anything other than anecdotal folks. <laughs> I think black is fucked. All right. And we got some bagels. Let's go. Let's go eat those bagels after my next turn. Is black quitting? No, black's still playing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just kill someone. Just kills it. Just sue. Sue out. Sue, sue studio. Uh, too many video games. <laughs> Pooba says, how do you show your partner your best self? If most young women nowadays will only settle for a six foot guy with the 600 K salary. Most young women will, will settle for is, I don't think a very productive, uh, again, that's not a productive mindset, right? I, I think it's, it's far more useful to try and frame this sort of thing as, um, what, What are you as an individual looking for? And what is the person you are trying to attract looking for? Let's take, let's take most young women out of it because who cares about their opinion? I'll be right back. All right, here. Here's how I thought about it when I was uh, when I was smearing on my bagel. Um, we're not looking for the opinion of most young women, right? Assuming we're looking for a partnership, we're only looking for the opinion of one young woman. Now, if you're not looking for a partnership, you're looking to bang a bunch of chicks. You can do that. In which case, you would definitely be concerned about the opinion 
of most young women. Um, the thing about that is uh, there were fairly well considered and accepted theories on how to be the best version of yourself for that specific goal. If you want to fuck a bunch of chicks, right? Make as much money as you can be successful in, um, whatever field you're be the most successful, right? Be Brad Pitt, right? Be a beautiful man. Who's also a millionaire and you'll be able to fuck a bunch of chicks. Good for you. If that's what you want, this for the formula is simple. Now you're going to say to me, Pete, not everyone can be a millionaire. Pete, not everyone can be as beautiful as Brad Pitt. Sure. Right. At some point compromises will be made, but you can go to the gym. You can lift heavy shit. You can get in the best shape you can get. You can apply yourself at work. You can make a lot of money. This talk is getting a bit in Sally. What does that mean? Well, I'm not suggesting, I'm not suggesting what people want is to fuck a bunch of chicks, right? So I'm trying to answer the question without knowing what, what the actual question is. I'm tr we're trying to specify. I'm also trying to make a bagel. Let's move to countries where women have lower standards. <laughs> Terrible. Wouldn't you say that the bell curve plays its part? The median of the female experience encompasses at least 50% of women. Right. But what I'm saying is I'm, it's not important what the average woman's opinion is because you're not going to get with the average woman. You're going to get with the person that you are compatible, ideally, ostensibly, you're going to get with the person that you're compatible with, which is the whole point. <laughs> right? Compatibility. What makes, what makes you someone who is the right partner for the person you're trying to attract? Whybeard says, bro, what women want is a good man who cares about them and that they can start a family with. This fatalist mindset about most women isn't true outside the internet red pill communities. Women aren't some magical creatures. They're normal people like you and me. Bingo. Right? But we don't... As young, we as young men don't necessarily come to understand women. Right? You don't maybe think that... And that's why I, go, I come back to empathy, right? Understand... Right, understand your opponent in a risk game. Understand your potential partner in the dating market or the dating game or whatever word you want to use. And that's why I always like to come and bring it back to yourself too, right? Make If you make yourself the best version of yourself possible, make yourself the smartest most attractive, most fit, most successful version of yourself, it stands to reason that confidence will resonate. You will be more attractive. Timogen says, don't try to understand women. Women understand women. They hate each other. Quoted by Al Bundy. <laughs> yes. We're taking Al Bundy's advice for dating advice. We want to do a 69-69 cap? I think we can do that. Hmm.
Hmm. Aritsu says most people don't naturally want to, people just don't naturally want to stay with one person. You actively choose to be with a person day in and day out. I, I, I think I naturally want to be with one person, right? I think I want to have a family. Pete, how good is that bagel? It sounds like someone's having an orgasm. I'm eating. I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten all day. It's 2.40 p.m. I'm enjoying the fuck out of my bagel. Unapologetically. Nice. I like this. We brought out, we brought out some conversation. Thank you, guys. Um, Spaltino, not that I want to blow you, Pete, but I remember a clip you said. Um, you and your ex played Risk zero times. That made me realize harshly that it isn't about the average or the amount of... It isn't about the average or the amount, but about the right one. Be open about who you are, and anything else isn't benefiting anyone. I'll tell you, I'm certainly not looking... <laughs> For a female partner. <laughs> I'm certainly not looking for the risk ability. <laughs> that is not high up in my characteristics of what I'm looking for in a woman. <laughs> the fact that my ex didn't like strategy games is certainly very little to do with why we didn't end up being compatible. And ironically, in many ways, we still are compatible. I love that woman. You know? I'm taking care of her cat. I'm very happy for her. I'm also very happy for me. Can I be a GM or better to date Pete? Lol. <laughs> Motions to you to wipe my ass. <laughs> At least at the beginning, wait two to three dates before being the weirdo. You really are. Disagree. Hard disagree. Start out as you, otherwise you're setting a false expectation of who you are. If my wife never played Ticket to Ride, I never would have married her. Sarcasm. Yes. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you guys, but we dab on that. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Who's got the dabs, folks? That was a double dabber. You have to, you're gonna have to double, you're gonna have to dab twice. We need a double dab from the people. Dab it up. A little dab will do you, folks. The dabulation. The dabosity. Oh, baby, 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 baby. That is a lot of dabs. I can't believe everyone's still alive. <laughs>
Oh man, this is a good bagel. Thank you, Nick DeBru. What does 420 mean? It's a criminal code for smoke and weed. I'm not sure in what jurisdiction though. You haven't eaten all day. I'm eating three, well, one and a half bagels. <laughs> this game looks insane. This game is the furthest thing from insane you can imagine. Show bagel. You're lucky. You get to see the last bite. Bagel. Is it really my fault? Oh, I can never lose my temper and I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Can't sing on YouTube. Forgot. Just vibing. See? We're back, baby. I got the bagel in me now. Now we're ready to go for another two hours and 24 minutes of not fucking anything happening. Okay, Pete, white bread, we have to stop that. Yeah, I shouldn't be eating carbs at all. To be fair, I shouldn't be eating carbs at all. So my whole fucking thing is fucked right now. My entire lifestyle is fucked. You made me so hungry. Lol. Are you going to get behind for not holding any bonuses? Nah, I don't think so, because I'm not really hitting anybody. Right, I'm not forcing the action. I'm going to let someone else do it. I've taken a peek every, every couple of fucking minutes or something. What's my plan in this game? To wait. Wait until other people... <laughs> the win is holding Spain. Let's see if we hold Spain again. Think carbs are fine. For me, carbs aren't fine, right? For me, if I'm trying to lose weight, I need to go no carb. Or very low carb. I need to eat meat and vegetables, basically. That's how I lose weight. Pete, for progressive capitals, it's better hold, build up one cap than multiple. Um, it's more likely someone rolls a smaller cap. So if you have one good cap, that's probably better. <coughs> it's the sugars, not the carbs. Sugars are carbs. That's what carbs are. You got to change your lifestyle, though, not diet to lose weight. I mean, I know, listen, I know how to lose weight. So I'm not trying to oversimplify again. I'm not trying to bring out the, the nitpicking. I'm sure you guys either know how to do it as well or think you know how to do it. Um, but your physiology is also different than mine. I, I actually know how to do it for mine. I've been able to lose weight in the past. The issue is not a lack of knowledge. The issue is a lack of effort. Simply put, I'm not doing what I know I should be doing in order to do so, which means I obviously don't prioritize that right now i'm prioritizing making risk television apparently also i'm 40 <laughs> that 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 factor matters a lot too i'm an old old man Are you going for a specific type of body? Not anymore. Not anymore. He likes men. Fuck you, Kyle. What a dick. <laughs> you like men. It's not me. It's you. This game will never end. This game will end. It will most definitely. All right, let's change the vibe up. All right, what do I feel like listening to? What was the uh, Lama's like? What's my favorite James Taylor track? Someone asked me that. You say I used to own a landscaping company? Yes, I did. And. All right, this is more chilled. I actually own a landscaping company in Toronto. Fuck yeah, man. 
<laughs> you want to pick up uh, 30 summer contracts? <laughs> I got thirty. I got thirty pretty good residential contracts in play for for anyone who wants them. What's up, Akum? Thank you for making us happy. Maybe cool. I'm dude. They're they're going to turn into a pumpkin if nobody takes them. So where are they, Thornhill? I got like thirty houses in Thornhill that I need to kind of start moving now. Nobody's given up. I know this is a five player game. It was my first job ever cutting grass. Yeah. My first business ever was selling collectibles on eBay. Um, then I worked for um, a bunch of guys cutting grass. I started a business with a partner. We did our own thing for two summers. This is while I was in university. Um, I worked as a electrician. I worked as a frame carpenter. Um, and then I started my company, the one I still kind of own, in 2006. So I cut grass for myself for 20 years, about, and pl and plowed snow. And then, uh, yeah, I came up came upon this in the uh, came upon this after realizing I might have something. To say. How's the pay as a landscape owner? I was making more than a hundred dollars an hour cutting grass by the end. So they're good contracts. They're, I definitely kept, I used to have a much bigger business, right? I got rid of all my employees years ago. Um, after some shenanigans, they just realized they weren't worth it. Creating jobs in Ontario was not the, uh, <laughs> it's not what it was cracked up to be. Thorn a little far. You're in Etobicoke. Okay, man, if you know anybody, send them my way, please. It's a good, like, it was a good two full days of work for, for, uh, I mean, one and a half, two days of work for a two man crew. But I know it's not really enough work is the problem. I might just let it go. Yeah. I plowed snow in the winter. <laughs> Over a hundred dollars an hour seems legit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I kept the best ones, right? I kept the ones that actually pay me <sighs> how do i get a security it contracting company going i suck ass at sales they just hire a sales guy to acquire contracts nah sales is an easy skill if you can't do sales you shouldn't be in business for yourself frankly Right, paying someone else to do sales is a miss, in my opinion. If you ask my opinion, I'll give it. That's that's not the thing I would outsource. Sales easy as fuck. The the trick I'll tell you what the trick to sales is. The trick to sales is having something of value to sell. Right? What is the work? What is the value proposition of, of the work? And as soon as you can explain that, you don't require any sales skill. We just authentically say, this is who we are. This is what we do. There's the price. Join us, right? Make sure that you're offering something of value. That's why I'm always product focused. It's like I spend a lot of time with the show thinking about what you guys want to watch, which is why I've really tried my best to stop being such a pissy baby. Um, pretty much as you know ever as much as i that's like a big ethic of my show now right it's like yes we can win games yes we can lose games um but more importantly most importantly let's show love to the audience right let's send out the good vibes How hard was becoming self-employed in the beginning? 0% hard. It's, uh, being an entrepreneur is the most natural thing for my personality type. Um, I'm a very high openness and max orderliness person. So with openness, you have interest in creative ideas. You have interest in like, this is why I'm like interested in philosophy. Um, but 
uh, on the conscientiousness dimension, okay, I have all I have all my cap cards now. This is lovely. We've reset this game. So because my other my other strongest the strongest color of my personality is orderliness, right? I crave order. So it makes sense I would play a game where we bring um we bring a chaotic system into order. We unify this board under my color, right? Those two things in, in the same person don't tend to happen a lot. So I'm both creative and a good manager. And what that means is we're trying to kill black. Are we actually trying to kill black? Spicy, spicy, spicy. If we are, that'd be fun. I would love to see black die. There we go. Adios, amigo. All right, we've lost our first human player in this game at two and a half hours on the clock. Leona says, which rounds from the KPO2 have been my favorite so far? Um, I like Classic Fix, obviously. I thought the Troy, uh, the, the, the Troy fix 70 game was fine. I got shitty. I got a shitty game, but the, the game itself was fine. Um, I thought the, we, we asked this, we were asked this question already. Um, I thought the round four was terrible. Um, prog zombies in 2209. I hated, uh, I thought round five was, what was round five? Someone remind me what round five was. Someone remind me what round five was. Round six I liked. England, yeah. Well, I mean, that's a fucking, you know, those are viable World Dom rank settings. Britannia Advanced, yeah, obviously I like that. I fucking invented that shit. Um, I really liked the... Um, uh, Rivertown settings. I really, really like the Rivertown settings. And I thought the reverse world zombie settings were absolute trash. That's pretty convenient. That's very convenient. Isn't it? Just incredibly convenient, that. What a deal. What a deal, folks. Now look at that cap. Now look at that cap, baby. Ladies and gentlemen. The mark of the beast. Yeah. Okay, white is quitting too. Cool. The mock of the beast. I was like, oh no, I went to the bathroom and stuff happens. <laughs> 
Green is staying in Fortify for quite a bit. Song is so good. I agree. Okay, green botting. Like literally pulling out a winner. I'm going to win this game. White has the whole board. Nobody's killing him. <laughs> yep. White's like, I'm dead. Kill me. <laughs> Any reason why you left abruptly after your match? My match didn't even end. I didn't even watch the end of the game. Why do you think, Chef Confi? I'm incredibly disappointed that I don't get to make the um, cutoff rounds in either KPO so far. I'm incredibly, that's the answer. I'm incredibly disappointed in that. And I don't want to send out bad energy to you guys. So I ended the stream. That's why. I think that, I think not making the cutoff rounds in either KPO so far is absolutely unacceptable on every possible level. All right, let's figure this out. Blue is there now? Got it. We still like you? I'm glad. I had to go break something? No, I just, I just got really upset. I just got really sad and upset, right? Because something I've tried to build has still failed completely. There's an, it's worth it. Guys, you have to understand it's worth nothing to me. If I can't play, I don't care about being famous at risk. <laughs> it's not interesting to me. I want to be able to play in a long, exciting risk tournament. I want to have a chance to win. I don't need to win. I want a chance to win. Human is human emotions. Imagine that. Yeah. All right, let's not fuck this up now. We got to do this kill in, we got to do this kill real quick, folks. Green's helping though. Green's, Green's working on it with me. Thank you, Green. Green's helping me kill White. We're going to be in a three-player game soon.
smell you later, Mac Sumida. All right, we're in a three-player game. The black also has a six, 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 six cap. All right, everyone has two caps. We see all the caps. Take a snapshot of this board. Who's in the lead? Do I have the most troops? That's why I did what I did, right? Because I go into the end game with the most troops, I think. I think I have the most troops. Am I right? You guys do some quick math for me. My intuition tells me I'm, I'm in a slight lead. Yeah. Okay, green opens the blue cap. I think blue's better than green. Mm-hmm. Let's see if uh who wants to trade with me. Green is pretty good taking all their cards in one turn. Yeah, he's he's overly aggressive. Yeah, me and uh me and blue are gonna trade here now. Excellent. Let's see green card block himself. Uh, HJF156 says, by the way, Pete, I plan on winning KPO. So remember my, my name. Good luck, bro. Thank you for the capital card, sir. What mouse do I use? It is a uh, Logitech G502X. He came by earlier and said the same thing. Well, remember the name. All right. Green is trying to be my best friend and giving me all the capital cards. But I remember this man not letting me hold a bonus. And if we can say anything about the Peatman, we know that the Peatman is nothing if not a vindictive prick.
Whereas we're going to card block themselves, they're going to run out of cards eventually. Wait, do you mean I'm going to actually have to do something at some point? Fuck. All right. Well, I'm glad I got the white kill. That was fun. That was a fun moment. If green wants to help me card block blue, I'm into that. Are you into darts at all? Like smoking cigarettes or the game? The game. Ah. For, the, for those of you watching on, uh, on YouTube, um, darts is, is Canadian slang for cigarettes. Any bet on which capital we slam first? I don't know. Hopefully not the Peatmans. We're over 10k troops now. Rip a dart, bud. Ripping the dirt. What's my longest winning game? I don't know. Do you think drama is good for risk? What do you mean by drama? No, that's probably not good for risk, Johnny. We don't want any doubt in our top players' uh, ethics, right? We want a cohesive... generally agreed upon... right thing to do, at least as far as rules are concerned. Two five four five. Ah, we're nowhere close. All right, I'm curious to see what happens when green runs out of cards.
Blue's not gonna help me do anything, though. Oh, why do I uh, swap the cards around when I set them? I'll show you the next time I'm on five cards. Yeah, once uh, once green abuts blue, we can change the plan. We can tr me and uh, me and green have an <coughs> infinite training pocket here. I mean, I can start doing that now. I guess. Let's see if he sees it. Blue's like, wait, he didn't give me a card. Ostapikin daily risk study with Peeman. We shall see. Yep, well played. All right, so me and Green go first and second. Blue runs out of cards. Good enough. This takes a while, though. More coffee.
All right, Green, we got this. We got this game in the bag. It's only going to take another hour and a half of this. <laughs> nah. Blue will run out of cards. Then I'll have to try and do something frisky. Do we get coffee? Oh, you know we got coffee, baby. We also spilled some on the stairs, which is what I was wiping up. Oh, after 30 rounds, Blue might not have a card right. Yeah, we'll just have to let him take the whole board. Or we can try card blocking him. Oh, why risk it? <laughs> None of these guys are trying to card block. I don't want to be the one. I don't want to be the one to lose the troops. Our card block wants to go to the 1v1. That is three hours on the clock, folks. Three hours. Look at me, three man scenario being in the middle of the map is risky. Right. Well, this is my. I love this cap, right? My original cap now, it caused this. Well, it didn't cause a stalemate, but it, it made me unable to win the game early. It made me unable to snowball the game. So, in lieu of that, I now have eight cards that I'm not taking any of, right? I have eight cards in the kitty, which is why I'm happy to close off this middle cap because I have count of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Okay, Blue's taking additional cards now. That will hasten their demise. Blue now understands that they are not being traded with and probably feels their butthole pucker just a little bit. This is peak risk gameplay indeed. All right, Green's taking a peek of Reno. All right, Green would like to understand this board. That delay. Oh, shit! Oh! Yep. <laughs> I think I got what he was. I picked up what he was putting down. He's like, I'm suing into this guy. I'm like, all right. <laughs> this 
this game is ending. He's going to hit him again. Hwapa! Ladies and gentlemen. Almost. And Blue's like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Good game, man. Well played, guys. Okay. Hmm. Start there. I think I drastically outnumber fucking blue, right? I should just like get him. Just like put all th throw all my fucking troops into him. Good game, sir. I feel a pin shot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he steps off in a way that I can't fucking get him. <laughs> Too bad.
<laughs> Respect to Blue for not trying it out. It was me! <laughs> GG, man. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. What a, what a lobby, folks. Defeating three masters and a grandmaster. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Boring. I agree! <laughs> Your fault, not mine! Your fault! I agree it was boring.